You're listening to The State of Work, the podcast by Lano. The State of Work is about finding your place in the changing world of work as an individual or an organization. In each episode, we dive into some of the benefits and limitations we face when it comes to remote and flexible work. We talk about how we work, how we hire and manage people, and how we live in this increasingly global workplace. I'm your host, Maddie Duke, and today's success story comes from Sebastian Gelvitsky, Head of Production Hub and Global Partner Management at Simple Show. Simple Show simplifies complex topics through the power of video. Sebastian talked about his experiences working with a pool of almost 300 freelance partners across the globe. Hi, Sebastian. (laughs) Thanks for joining me on The State of Work. How are you today? I'm very good. I'm very excited for our little cool. session here. <laughs> uh, where are you joining me from today? You're based in Berlin, right? I'm based in Berlin, yes. Um, I don't know if you're familiar. So I'm located close to the Volkspark Friedrichshain, so which is very nice. Um, it's a very, I would say, more silently part of Berlin. So it's not mm-hmm. like super cool and trendy and tons of people hanging around. Um, but it's nice, yeah. Nice. I, 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 I preferred it. I, I choose it because, well, obviously, because I got the chance to, to get the flat. Um, because you probably know that to getting a flat in Berlin is not always easy. Yeah. Um, but it was also because it's so silent and I love to sleep in silence. Yeah. I, I completely understand that. I'm, I'm with you there. Unfortunately, I'm not in the same situation. <laughs> it's very noisy, <laughs> but yeah. So, well, uh, we're, we're going to be talking about your role at Simple Show today and, and about yeah. Simple Show and how Simple Show is uh, working and structuring their team. So, firstly, could you tell me um, what does Simple Show do and what is your role there? Okay, yeah. That's an uh, interesting question uh, because what Simple Show does today is a bit different uh, from what was Simple Show doing like six, seven years ago. So today, I would say we are um, as well a platform provider for do-it-yourself video creation, uh, Mm -hmm. um, explanation videos, but also a full-service agency for explanation videos and e-learning is also a part of what we do. So we have, like, as you understand, maybe different kind of um, products that we offer and services. Cool. So you can do kind of the full suite. Someone could hand over the entire e-learning kind of video project to Simple Show, or have a, a bigger role themselves and exactly. use the platform. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And, and the platform, maybe what, what is interesting because I don't know if, if if people know that it's really like super sweet. You can like put in a text, yeah, into into the um, it's a software, yeah, like a um, um, an online um, uh, software where you just, for example, put in your, your text into to a field and the AI of the software uh, creates then um, a video for you. Yeah? It puts in like, creates the pictures based on uh, keywords that were tagged in our, um, ah, now I'm really missing the English word. What's the uh, German yeah. word? <laughs> German word would be um, a database. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I got it. You have like a database with like a lot of of illustrations in there. And then if you, for example, type in car, yeah, uh, it finds automatically like tons of cars and then puts in the one where it thinks is the best for your, for your choice. And then you can change them and and remove the pictures on on the canvas if you if you want but it's 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 very it's 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 very smart (laughs) yeah cool cool and your role there is head of global partner management and production hub what does that involve i'm responsible for let's say like two different kind of of teams um, so one team is responsible for recruiting and onboarding and quality assurance of external staff, external partners, and some administrational uh, work then with the people. And uh, the other team, which is teams, um, there's a team for DAH, there's a team for the UK, and there's a team for Asia Pacific. 
and they are doing quality assurance. They support with onboarding of freelancers. Yeah. So there's a lot of communication <laughs> and uh, supporting external people, um, especially we, because we have a lot of very high standardized products that we that we offer to to, to customers. So it's it's very ne uh, important that you guide and and support the partners who are working for you, right? Mm -hmm. And when yeah. you say, I mean, when we think about what kind of products you're offering at Simple Show and like these teams that you're working with, I imagine you're working with a lot of um, people that work in production, video production and design and illustration. What sorts okay. of different creative roles are there? Usually at, at, a, at, a, at a normal project, you would have like um, a concept writer slash project manager. Uh, um, it's one person uh that that we that we have who who yeah does both like the, mm -hmm. the communication with the client as well as the concept writing and also like the visual um yeah the visualize visualization tricky yep. word <laughs> visualization <laughs> um of the storyboards and then you have like a motion designer you would have an illustrator you would have a voiceover artist you would have a um sound designer so that's basically a general setup for for uh, for a project. What? How, how big would this pool of talent that you're working with be? And are they mostly rem like are they independent freelancers or are they based in different offices around the world that that Simple Show is managing? How is the whole team structured? Mm, yeah, they are they are located in different places all over the world, and they're remote working independent freelancers uh, do you know roughly how many freelancers you have on your database yeah, i would say around 300 wow okay what are some of the challenges that you've faced along the way when you're growing and managing the team and and how have you overcome them um i would say number one is communication issues language barriers mm -hmm. uh, so for example in in, in our case you have like a, um, a german creative writing a script and, and creating a storyboard and then sends uh, it to an, to an latin american illustrator to get the illustrations he need the problem was the communication issues in terms of uh, language barriers but as well as like um, timing you know there are a bunch of hours before or after us so if you write something you don't add, add, a, add a you know um, there's an a uh, very how you say that um, urgent situation, yep. yeah, and maybe the person sleeps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, at this moment. Um, how did we overcome it? We 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 provided some some documentation, uh, so so we put a lot of focus in in general in onboarding, and onboarding means mentoring the people, set up courses for them, provide them with documentation, even little video tutorials, yeah, and mm -hmm. then also have our partner managers, yeah. So each individual group of of um, of partners have their own individual. Um, contact person yeah, like the, the the manager for illustration and um, i just call it um <laughs> support with excellent onboarding and psm partner success management another thing is is the overall organization yeah i mean it's everything is related with you uh, to each other yeah? um what does organization mean yeah it's like setting up the right um processes for the people yeah as we have these standards and always repeating kind of tasks you need to set up um processes which which works for everybody so everybody knows what to do knows who to talk to knows uh, all the technical kind of things yeah and therefore also you 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 need to focus on your on on, on your partner managers and another challenge was definitely um the change of already proven production processes. As for many, many years, we were working with internal staff. You know, after 10 years or seven years, we had so many processes and, and, and clean, aligned things that we now had to change. 
uh, to make the, the the partners able to to uh, give us the same kind of quality uh, in the same time. Uh, and also, we, we needed to set up a team of, of, of managers, which then like developed clean, um, high performance processes for the partners. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was really crucial. Would that tie into any specific pieces of advice you would have for other people who might be, you know, at that point where the team is rapidly growing globally and they're faced with all these challenges of time zone, cultural differences, language challenges. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, number one, I would say number one is set up a good team of partner managers. That's the key. That's really the key. And the second is um, the onboarding. Onboarding people, I mean, it depends on what kind of industry you are or whatever uh, service or product you, you, um, you provide. Um, I think this is really crucial to, 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 to set a good onboarding plan, well documentation. I'm a big fan of uh, learning by doing. So I would also recommend take experienced people and uh, let them help the newer people. Uh, be patient. Nothing goes from one day to the other. Um, and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. And one final question. <laughs> How does your team use Lano? We use it mainly as a, as I would say, as a partner platform, as a um, managing or project management tool, and also for the invoicing or for organize our invoicing. Um, the, key, the key function is um, really the project management of projects. So we have like a special case. We have this, um, we have an external partner um, who is also managing other partners himself. Yeah. So he has a special um, role with special rights within Lano, a special account where he then can create tasks on projects and assign or request other partners. Uh, for us, it's 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 awesome because it. So we don't need to do that. They can, we can give them a um, a project, and he really remotely can do everything, the whole project process with him alone. Um, request other partners, work on it, and we are just in the background then approving invoices and 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 checking everything goes smooth. Yeah filling in the information that the people might need. So partner platform. So all our partners are in there. Project management, yeah, which is super important for us. And uh, invoicing. Yes. But yeah. if you if you think about um, having, I don't know, 300 uh, partners worldwide, there's something going on with invoicing, believe me. Yeah? Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Different currencies, uh, um, yeah, uh, different uh, cost centers, and and uh, you know invoicing coming in daily, and you have to make sure that everything goes correct, and uh, and therefore it helps a lot. If I imagine like a bunch of years um, ago when we used like regular PDF invoice. Mm. Mm -hmm. where you can't just change something on it. If something is wrong for whatever reason, you have to write the person or call the person, hey, blah, 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 blah. Then the person has to change, have to resend it. And this is way easier in Lano. If something is, is, is wrong or uh, about the date or uh, um, the amount of the fee, just easily change it. And also we have like... Um, different um, approval stages so we have more eyes checking on is everything correct um, also yeah. definitely an advantage for the partner because he's it's not just from our side but also from the partner side yeah? um, and I know that some of the partners are using um, Lano not just for us but also for other clients and um, the feedback I have is that it's, it's helping them a lot now yeah? cool well that's really good to hear I mean we're, we it's I mean we want to understand as well how Lano clients and customers are using the platform and it can be in different ways. So it's great to get an insight to that. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much uh, all we have time for and everything I wanted to ask. 
Thanks so much. Um, it's been really great talking to you today, Sebastian. It was a pleasure. It was a uh, really fun talk to you, Maddie. The State of Work is brought to you by Lano. The Lano platform has everything you need to grow your global team. Find out more at lano.io. Thanks for listening and see you next time on The State of Work.